So to begin, I'm just going to nominal build and show you we have a nearly complete cell phone here. Uh, we're still missing a few items on this power button. So that's what we're going to be walking through today. But before we get into that, we're just going to talk a little bit about why we want to use dimensional analysis, uh, why we're doing this. Um, so what does dimensional analysis give us? It's going to validate that if we enter production with our currently modeled assembly process, indexing method, and component tolerances, that we're able to meet our dimensional goals. Uh, these goals can be either functional, uh, meaning if it's going to work, parts are going to fit, or they can be uh, aesthetic goals. So will it look good, uh, and will the appearance and quality be there? So to begin, there's four main inputs into 3DCS. The first being the geometry. In this case, that's going to be our parts that we're modeling with. This is just going to be the relationship of all the different um, components that we want to take a look at and uh, use our give us our features that we're trying to model. Second are our moves. Uh, that's how the parts are indexed and brought together. Uh, the moves will then allow us to stack up the variation through the model and the order of the moves will uh, represent the assembly process for our products. The third element are tolerances which are the variation of the nominal geometry. The tolerances can be applied in two ways through 3DCS tolerances and through extracted PMI. And the final element are measurements, which are going to track our outputs and allow us to view the variation at our desired location. 